Okay, this is the stamp making station. And you may be wondering, why on earth are we going to make stamps? Because you can apply them to things and get really cool textures. So the boxes that you make later have really interesting textures. You can use stamps for those. You can apply them to the inside of bowls or the outside of bowls. Here's one more sample. They allow you to do Mishima, put dark glaze in the recessed areas, and they're just overall really, really cool. So that is why we are gonna learn to make stamps. In order to make a stamp, you have to keep a couple things in mind. Unique original designs, no copyrights. Start off with clay that is a leather hard. You want to have that stiff surface to carve into, kind of like what we did on our architecture tiles, where you had that surface to carve away. Couple tips. You can put uh, designs on every side, kind of like this one, has a design on every single side. You can do line designs that can then be rotated when they're stamped, that makes cool, um, cool patterns. You can do small stamps with simple line designs or you can do big stamps. Here's one that's pretty complicated. I would note that it's important to keep these areas in the middle somewhat wide. This one is a little bit rough because the designs were not carved in deep enough. You have to make sure that when you actually press your stamp onto the clay that there's enough area for the clay to push up into it to get the design. Well, not making it pop out too much because this stamp is actually more like a star hole punch. Kids will have slabs of clay and they'll actually like stamp into it and then poke holes through their walls, making it structurally unstable. Here's another fun stamp. And this one was just a texture stamp that can be repeated over and over. So I'm gonna show you two different stamps. The first stamp is you're actually like making a design pop up. You can start, if you want, by using tracing paper, like I have right here, and tracing out a design. While I tell you to, st to stray away from simple flowers, you can do lots of things to make the flowers more complicated. Open up the middle so that you have negative space in the middle. You could even do another layer right here. So tracing paper is kind of fun to work with because as long as it fits, let's see if we have a side that fits. I think I'm just going to use those, those two and not the third one. You can then see where you drew and go back and trace it on. So this allows you to spend some time actually like on paper drawing out stamp designs before you actually make a stamp. So what I'm going to do is take away that middle flower part helps if you have one of these little scraffito brushes to get off the crumbs. And I do want to make it deep enough that the clay actually will go into that area. add a cool texture in there if you want. You do have to be careful of 
undercuts or things that will bite and pick up the clay in a stamp. So when I carve this side right here, I want to carve it straight down. Spend a little bit more time smoothing, but for that, for the most part, that is your stamp, and then it will make cool impressions into your clay. You can see that I did it about an eighth of an inch thick. You don't want it to be too raised up in comparison to this one, because this one will actually puncture through your wall. The other type of stamp that you can make is just like a carved-in line stamp. So this was, I subtracted stuff from the outside to make this raise up. Or I can just subtract things here. so that the clay would go into the oh, liner nice. box. It's time to create those designs now and not to wait until you're building your box because you won't be able to have the stamp fired in time for that. So this one stamp I could go ahead and put uh, designs on every side and then I would want to make sure that I put my name on the back and my period so I got it back. Enjoy making a stamp.